Hello, Doug Skinner here from HonestIntentions.com. Today with you because I want you to get my ebook, 18 Ways to Cut the Risk of a Security Breach. Okay? You can get it, it looks like this. You can get it for free online at honestintentions.com slash go slash ebook. All right. Why? Well, because cybercrime happens, okay? Uh, there's th cyber, cyber thieves out there that are getting tens of billions of dollars in the United States every year now. And the number grows, and the complexity of their activities is growing, and they're sophisticated, and, and they're successful. And although when we have a problem, we can replace our money if it gets lost, but it's a lot more difficult to replace our reputation. So that's why I wanted to introduce the notion today, the theme of today, is an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of a cure. I know, it's trite, but it's a very serious matter. We're talking about your reputation. So what I'd like to do is tell you about a, an event that happened. And what prompted me to suggest that you do this is that I got an email from one of my cloud service vendors. And maybe you get these, maybe you don't, but it's a warning nevertheless, okay? And it's good. I think it's good to look for a proactive posture from your online service companies. And so here's an example of what I mean. Let's read it together. It's, it's coming from Microsoft. And they said, there's been some unusual sign-in activity with your email, Doug. And I think they're correct because they're saying that it's sign-in activity from Canada. And I'm in here in the San, San Francisco area, so uh, that's not me. Uh, so it raised a red flag, okay? And the theme of the message here today is an ounce of a prevention is worth a pound of cure. Okay, just remember that. Um, the biggest key is to educate yourself. Get my ebook on security. It's at this URL right there. Okay. So I took action. I looked at this email and I'm going to press this. Let's take steps right now. Let's get a new, uh, let's find out what's going on with this account. See what Microsoft is offering to give me visibility to what's going on with my account. Now, this is an example of two factor authentication. Two factors being something that you know and something that you have, okay? So something that I know is my password and my mobile phone number, and something that I have is my mobile phone. So I'm going to use those two, and they're going to use those two, and I'm going to put my last four digits into the prompt, and then they're going to send me a four-digit code, okay? So it works like this. Hear that? Okay, so now I can go to see what my messages are. And put in the six digit code, seven digit code. That they gave me. And I'm gonna leave that number be, that's the second factor authentication. And it takes me to a very sensitive part of the Microsoft uh, email account system, which shows recent activity, login activity on my account. All right. So it shows that I have successfully logged in just moments ago. I see the time. But that earlier I had, there was an incorrect password. There were successful sign in six times earlier. Um, and as let's, that's incorrect password entered. Okay, now when we look at yesterday's, you can see some of these uh, incorrect password entered. Let's look at some more earlier ones, okay? So earlier, because yesterday. Okay, so here's uh, yesterday, some security challenge successful. So you can see the, the uh, log entries on uh, activity, people logging in, okay? My point is that you want to have a cloud service company, especially with your email address, that's going to be proactive. It's going to be concerned about security. It's going to be looking out for your needs and working with you and communicating with you uh, what's going on. And you want to have visibility to what's going on too, right? Uh, you want to be able to change your password. So the point being, have 
have have a mindset and a proactive stance and monitor some of these things periodically and have good passwords. We're going to get into that later. Uh, but uh, thanks for being with me.